sababu unapofanya mauaji tegemea adhabu yako nini kwa Tanzania ni kunyongwa mpaka ufe. Ah sasa kama kuna hiyo taarifa na mimi nimeisikia tunaifanyia kazi sina jibu la moja kwa moja. Ziona namna gani naweza kupambana na hili swala kwa sababu wanatoka. Hili swala tumelizungumzia na mwenzangu. Haya mauaji ya na wao wanasema tatizo hilo wanalo tena ni kubwa sana. E, na njia peke yake tuendelee kutoa elimu. Njia peke yake e, viongozi wetu wa dini waendelee kutoa elimu. Na njia nyingine kubwa ni kuhakikisha kwamba wanaofanya haya makosa sheria inachukua mkondo wake, wanakamatwa, wanafungwa na wale ambao wanaweza kunyongwa wanyongwe sababu wanapofanya mauaji tegemea adhabu yako nini kwa Tanzania ni kunyongwa mpaka ufe. Tunaangalia wahamiaji wengi wanatokea maeneo ya Ethiopia. Kwa hiyo tumekubaliana kwamba ili ni swala sio la nchi hizi mbili, ni swala ambalo linahusu nchi nyingi. Kwa hiyo tuona namna gani tutahusisha wakuu wa polisi e, wa nchi zote lakini pia wakuu wa uhamiaji wa nchi zote hizo ambazo zinahusika tuzungumzie hili na kuona namna gani tunaweza kushauri serikali zetu ziona namna gani naweza kupambana na hili swala kwa sababu wanatoka Ethiopia wanapita Kenya wanakuja Tanzania wanakwenda Malawi wanakwenda South Africa South Africa wengine wanabaki South Africa wengine wanakwenda nje kwa hiyo ni swala ambalo sio nchi mbili tu pekee tumelizungumza na kuona kwamba ni lazima tushirikishe nchi nyingine kwa ajili ya ku kupambana na hili swala. Wanasema karibu nyingi siwezi kuzitaja lakini kikubwa najua jeshi majeshi haya yanaposhirikiana kinachotakiwa pale ni taarifa wananchi watupe taarifa tuwe na intelligence za kutosha zile zinatosha kuwashughulikia. Manake hao wanaofanya uhalifu huu hawakai mapolini. Hao wanafanya uhalifu wanakaa hapa Mbeya mjini, wanakaa Karonga kule 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 Malawi. Kwa hiyo tukishakuwa na intelligence za kutosha sisi tutakufuata kokote tu. Kikubwa mfanya uhalifu, mfanya wapi? tutashirikiana kuhakikisha kwamba tunakamata na sheria inachukua mkondo wake. Uh, thank you so much indeed today I'm here in Mbeya uh, meeting my brother Geno Silo. I normally call him my elder brother Geno Silo uh, because he's uh, older than me in terms of uh, being an IGP. Uh, Malawi as we all know and Tanzania uh, we share a common border. And the people of Malawi and the people of Tanzania we are one and our problems are almost the same. The challenges we are facing are almost the same. And therefore, we thought it would be important for me and my brother to come here and meet and see how best we can solve the problems that Malawi is facing in terms of crime, that Tanzania is facing in terms of crime. More particularly, uh, crime problems that are crossing the border. Uh, for example, one of the problems that we have learned, which we also know in Malawi, is about motor vehicles, uh, motorcycles being stolen from Tanzania. Uh, going into Malawi where they are being sold, or may being stolen in Malawi, going into Tanzania where, where they are being sold. What we have agreed as the two of us is to make sure that we must seal the border through joint operation, intelligence sharing, so that this crime uh, must be dealt with, and dealt with decisively. Because uh, it's a crime that uh, uh, some people are being affected, uh, economy is being affected, and therefore moving forward we'll be doing joint operation. What we are saying is that uh, as the two brothers and the two police organization, days are gone when a criminal is going to steal a motorcycle or a motor vehicle from this side and go and sell it uh, in Malawi and thinking that he's going to hide in, in Malawi. We are going to arrest him and make sure that he's handed here uh, in Tanzania. Similarly, gone are days for a criminal to hide here. He steals something in Malawi and come thinking that he would hide. We have agreed to cooperate, we have agreed to share intelligence so that we must deal with issues to do with theft of motor vehicle, uh, theft, of, uh, uh, theft of motorcycles. But at the same time, the two of us have a similar challenge in terms of illegal migration. As my colleague was explaining, uh, we have challenges, people coming from the Horn of Africa, uh, Ethiopia and other countries, going through several countries, and then they find their way into Malawi. Similarly, maybe some are coming from Malawi, going into Tanzania, and going to other parts of the country. We have agreed to make sure that, yes, we have Polish borders, but through joint operation, through, through joint uh, sensitization, we should be able to seal the border and deal with the issue of uh, illegal immigrants. But then there is a general smuggling of goods. Goods are being smug uh, smuggled from Malawi into Tanzania. Goods are being smuggled from Malawi uh, into, in, sorry, from Tanzania into, into Malawi. We have also agreed that from today moving forward, we need to share notes. We need to identify the syndicates that are responsible for this smuggling of goods and then deal with them decisively moving forward. We have empowered our regional commanders that from today they should be able to cooperate 
so that he, they are speaking to each other, they are agreeing to each other in terms of how best they can deal with issues of cross-border crimes and the, some other uh, criminality that, uh, that is happening between the border. So for us, as the two generals, we take this as a milestone. It is the first of its kind. I know previously we used to talk to each other, we used to speak to each other, but from today we are opening a, a, a new chapter. We are, to us it's a milestone to such an extent that moving forward people should expect that the border between Malawi and Tanzania is going to be sealed through joint operations and quite a number of other things in terms of capacity building. Uh, people may be aware that within the region, Sadiq region, we are grappling with the issue of terrorism. It started uh, from Tanzania, but the beauty about it, Tanzania was able to deal with it. It has gone down to Mozambique, it's currently in Mozambique, but much as we are saying it's in Mozambique, it's all over within the Sadiq region. We have also agreed to share experiences, to share notes, and even send our officers into Tanzania to learn from Tanzania in terms of how we can fight terrorism within this region. We believe that the problem for Tanzania is also the problem for Malawi. What we have also been made aware is that uh, Tanzania holds the center for excellence in as far as the fight of terrorism is concerned. So as Malawi, once we go back, we'll be sending our officers to learn from Tanzania in terms of how we can deal with the problem of uh, fighting terrorism within this region. So me and my team and my delegation, we find this meeting today a very important meeting that will help to deal with criminality that crisps the borders, but beyond creasing the borders and help the Sadiq region as a whole. That's what I would say.